girlies and welcome back to the pod. Today is the um first episode of the Getting My Life Together series. Um and today we're talking about how you can become a better friend and things that no one really talks about with friendship. But first of all, let's chat all about my week. So, I'm done with school. Oh my gosh, exciting. Senior year technically over but I don't have graduation until the end of May but I had my last two exams this week I had it was calc and then Spanish um both were AP exams both were um probably not my best but that's okay because it's over um the Spanish one was a meme I will say that was that was a special time um we'll see if I pass that one don't know don't know um and then also this week at my school um we do senior internships and um I started my internship this week on Friday because I didn't have to start mine until all my exams were finished um so that's exciting and I'm doing my internship all next week which I'm happy about because I'm doing it at a place where I've volunteered at for like four years maybe since freshman year um so excited about that and then also this week I've been reading the book women don't owe you pretty which is like pretty much I guess it technically it's like a, a feminist book which saying that I feel like automatically makes people go like oh you know Because I feel like that, like, feminist doesn't have, like, really good positive connotation, I guess. But actually, I really like the book. And, um, I looked at it on Goodreads and all the reviews are really bad. Like, nasty. And I was like, oh my god. Am I, like, stupid or uh, for liking this? So, I don't know. But I like it and it has cute pictures in it and quotes. And it's pink and colorful. So, my favorite thing. Um, also what was I gonna say um later today I'm recording an episode with another podcast which I'm excited about um I'm gonna be a guest on her podcast and I think it's a QA and a about mental health maybe or just like an advice thing so that's exciting and when that episode comes out I'll make sure to um obviously let you guys know probably on my Instagram at the girly girl podcast if you don't follow it also if you're on video like spotify video or youtube and you're like oh my god carmen what are you wearing okay i'll tell you so this past week i've been trying to exercise more right because i talked about that on my intro for the getting my life together era um that i'm really bad at exercising it might be something that i would say I'm probably horrible at like genuinely awful this week I've been exercising which also means this week I've justified purchasing athleisure clothing um I made a TikTok about this so you might have seen that but right now I'm wearing it's like this uh I don't know what it's called onesie thing it's like where the shorts and the top are connected and I think it's supposed to be for Pilates I don't know I saw it on TikTok and it was this small business or I don't know if it's a small business um, but so I've been working out a lot this week, right? And um, purchasing athleisure because I'm really bad. If I see something on TikTok and I'm like, oh my god, that's so cute, impulse buy. Like I'm horrible. I'm genuinely awful at that. Um, but I saw this TikTok and it was this woman talking about how she made what I'm wearing right now and everything about it. And I was like, oh my god, it's so beautiful. So I bought it. And a few days later, oh, it's here. And guess what? I'm wearing it. I went on a walk earlier today. Um, I didn't actually end up wearing this though because it was in my neighborhood and I felt a little uncomfortable because there's like old people in my neighborhood and then also like people, I don't know, working and then that's just a lot of men and then that's just a lot of staring and I don't want to get stared at. So I changed. But anyway, I'm wearing it right now because I'm kind of obsessed. It has like an open back and um, it's like, I don't know what this color would be called. Jade, maybe. I'm kind of obsessed with it. I don't know what the brand is called, 
but I saw it on TikTok and I was like, wow, so cute. But anyway, talking about my walks. So I've been walking with my mom at the um, Arboretum at the university near where I live. Um, It's been really hot this week, though, like 85, 90 degrees. Pretty um, just really uncomfortable to be outside, but I've been trying to exercise. Okay, and then one day I gardened with my dad for like six hours. And I've never been so sore. Like, that's how bad, that's how, like, out of shape I am. That gardening, literal gardening, digging holes, okay, digging holes in the ground made me sore. I could barely walk the next day. Like, I'm so out of shape and it's really bad. So I'm trying to, you know, motivate myself. But I genuinely, I feel like it's just because I don't really care and I know a lot of people get motivated for working out by like, um, oh, I want to look better. I want to look skinnier. See, but that doesn't motivate me. I could care less how I look. I really just don't care. I think everything is fine. And I'm like, I'm gonna, I can work with that, right? But I need to find something else that motivates me. And I feel like it could be, oh, I want to be healthier. But like, do I... So I need to find something that actually motivates me, but we'll see. Currently struggling with that. Um, but anyway, take a quick break and then I'll be right back and we'll talk all about friendship, aka another good another thing that I'm not the best at. The sponsor of this episode is a product I use literally every day. I started taking AG1 because I hated taking a bunch of vitamins and supplements that felt like they weren't doing anything to improve my overall health. But AG1 is different. So what is this stuff? With one delicious scoop of AG1, you're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food, source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help you start your day right. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, and aging. Literally everything. AG1 is a small micro habit with big benefits. It's one easy thing that you can do every day to take better care of yourself. By taking AG1, you can improve your sleep quality, mental clarity, and alertness, not to mention become a healthier person overall. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash emerging. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash emerging to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. The link is also listed in the description of this episode. Now, time to talk all about friendship. Yay. Um, this week for me has not been the best friendship week, I will say. Um, it's been a bit of a struggle, but that's okay, because we're going to be real here today. Um, but friendship. I feel like the first thing to point out about friendships is that they're constantly changing and this is due maybe to like actual life circumstances like maybe you're moving maybe you're going to college maybe you're going to a different high school different middle school whatever but friendships are constantly changing maybe your interests change maybe you just aren't as close as you used to be and I think that's something that we all have to accept is that you're not going to be friends with the same people for like ever I guess because I think when I was younger I kind of just assumed that I would always have like a good friend or always be friends with some of the same people but honestly I feel like that's not realistic because um everyone is constantly changing like everybody's constantly growing people find new interests people get involved in different things um or maybe your personalities just aren't clicking anymore And I think that's a realization that you need to have because it's really easy to hold on to past friendships 
that may no longer be beneficial or maybe it's just that um you guys don't have the same interests anymore you all haven't talked in a while and maybe you just aren't as close as you used to be and that's okay it's not you're not always going to be able to like get things back to the way that they were because that's not realistic and um i think that's one thing we all need to think about and by we i mean me because i struggle with that okay i don't like change um i'm very like boo change and that is something that i'm not very good with um if there's any way to avoid change or avoid doing something that might seem i don't know slightly out of my comfort zone i'm like immediately no i will find something else to do i will do the opposite of whatever the change might be and that's something that i need to work on um but especially with friendships i think it's hard for me to realize like oh um maybe this isn't like the same friendship it was like a few years ago but that's okay because i have other friends and friends are always going to be changing of course you'll have maybe a few friends that um you'll be with like for longer periods of times but most of the people you know right now are just going to be um someone who's passing in and out of your life and that doesn't make them any less valuable it just means that they're there for a short period of time and that's okay maybe they're there to teach you something maybe they're there so you can teach them something you never know so i think that's something important to remember that friendships are constantly changing whether we want them to or not um most times i feel like it's that we don't really want them to change but at the same time you know if you're friends with someone you can kind of feel like oh like i don't feel like we are as close as we used to be i don't feel like we're that good of friends this person maybe doesn't make me feel good about myself but i don't know what to do because we've been friends for so long um and i feel like a lot of people have dealt with that or maybe you're in the same friend group and um like how do I not be as close with someone when I'm gonna have to see them every day and that's another thing that's kind of hard because it's like maybe you were good friends with someone and now you're not but you have to see them every day and that's just kind of uncomfortable or maybe your family friends and your families are close but you're not really close anymore and that's just all like really uncomfortable um but i think the best thing you can do just be nice i i know that's easier said than done because some people are like just like a, a lot some people are a lot um but yeah also i feel like people always ask me this they're like okay um like how do you make new friends let's say you're in a new place maybe you feel like you've outgrown your friends you want to meet new people you're not really happy with a group of friends maybe you looked around and realized oh my god who are these people what has happened you know just kind of having like a realization where you're like what is literally what is going on you know um so maybe you're in the mood to make new friends maybe you're moving going to a new school maybe you're at the same school and you're just kind of sick of people and want to reach out and make new friends i feel like there's not like one way to meet people or to make new friends and I feel like, I don't know, I kind of realized that just the past few months of, like, having to find a roommate for college or DMing people who are going to William & Mary and just being like, oh my god, I don't know how to make friends. Like, because all of my life, I've been going to school with the same people and I've never really had to actually try to make a friend. I've always just, I don't know, had friends. Um... But if you're going to a completely new place and having to reach out to people, that's kind of awkward. It feels like dating, like you're going on Tinder or something, which is just like really uncomfortable. And it's kind of weird because you're talking to these people that you've never met and that can be kind of overwhelming. But then I have to remind myself, I'm like, Carmen, I've made friends before. I have like podcast friends that I've made like through Instagram I've obviously had to make friends somehow so I'm like obviously I would need to know how to make friends but how right and it's also like at the same time if you've been going to school with the same people how do you make new friends and I think that's something that's kind of difficult um because there's not like one way 
of meeting people. I think often it's like really random how you make friends or it's always different. Like maybe you started like dance or something and now you have some dance friends or maybe you started playing a new sport. So I guess you can make friends through like activities you do, classes you have. But then even still, it's just kind of overwhelming because I feel like it's awkward to walk up to someone and be like, hi, I'm Carmen. Let's be friends, you know, because obviously you don't say that, but you want a friend. But I don't know. So I don't know if I'm the best person to be asking for, like, how do I make friend advice? How to like how to make friends? But I don't know. I'm learning. I've made some friends. I think the best thing, just talk to people. Put yourself out there. I'm so bad at that. I would literally rather lay in my bed and read a book and not talk to anybody for days and I will be so happy. Um, But sometimes you have to force yourself to socialize, force yourself to do things. And um, maybe you're the opposite of me. Maybe you're always out doing things, very extroverted, love being with people. Um, Personally, can't relate. Um, but I think it's also important for you, like, if you're someone who's going out all the time, to take time for yourself as well, like, have breaks from people, because even though you might be having, like, oh my gosh, I'm having a blast, I love being with people all the time, it's so important to, like, process stuff by yourself or just sit alone sometimes and not really feel obligated to talk to people. Um, even if it makes you uncomfortable because you're like, I'm an extrovert, I want to be with people. It's so important to get out of your comfort zone, do something by yourself, or if you're more like me, if you're more, like, reluctant to socialize, it's important to force yourself to go out and make plans with people. And something I think that I realized recently is that, um, actually, more like I've just always known, but it's just really, I guess, kind of impacted me recently, that everybody has their own schedule. Okay, you're like, duh, obviously. But, like, everyone has their own schedule. Everyone has their own things going on. So meaning like everyone's busy all the time. Okay. And I think for me, I would always be like, oh, I'm not hanging out with people. No one asked me to hang out. So like so-and-so doesn't like me, but that's not true. Okay. Everybody's busy. People have stuff going on. And I think that is an important thing, thing to remember is that you can't always wait for someone to ask you to hang out. Sometimes you need to go out and ask people, um, ask your friends, hey, do you want to go out to dinner? Hey, do you want to go to a movie? Do do y'all want to come over? Let's hang out. Let's go to the park. Doing something and like inviting people because I feel like it can be just kind of hard to, uh, I don't know, ask people. It's kind of uncomfortable, I guess. But if they're your friends, obviously they want to see you and everyone's on their own schedule. So it can be... I guess for me, at least, it's, like, hard to remember that I need to talk to other people and that um, it's not just me going around, which I feel like is very selfish and, like, self-centered, but I'm working on it. Um, So, like, thinking about others, thinking about your friends, thinking about what other people are doing, like, oh, would so-and-so want to hang out? And just, like, making yourself go out and do things and not just sitting there, like, being passive, waiting for people to ask you because most of the time like if you're just waiting for everyone to ask you no one's gonna ask you because maybe they're gonna think oh well Carmen never asked me to hang out so why would I even ask her to hang out she probably doesn't even like me right um but maybe that's not true so try making a more active effort in your friendships I think that's something that I've really had to learn recently to be a better to be a better friend you need to be an active friend whether that's texting someone, FaceTiming them, or actually hanging out, um, checking up on people, seeing how they're doing, asking them to spend time with you. Like, those are all important things because I feel like people always talk about, like, for relationships, like a romantic relationship, you're putting in work, you're actually, like, trying. And then I feel like for friendships, it's kind of, you're like, oh, well, no, I don't really have to think about it. It's not something I need to worry about. But you need to actually put in work to be friends with someone because or else the other person's gonna feel like you don't care and like maybe you don't want to be their friend and then if you're not putting in effort why would they feel the need to put in effort either you know so think about that so it's important to be an active friend to actually I don't know try in friendships 
I feel like that's something that uh, I need to work on. Um, I have, though, the past few weeks tried being more active of, like, asking people, oh, like, do you want to hang out? Do you want to go out to dinner? Do you want to do this? We should hang out. We should do something. Or just talking to people, like, texting them, whatever, because it's really easy for me just to get stuck in my own head and being, like, with my own problems, not thinking about things. Especially, too, I feel like it's kind of hard over the summer because um, if most of your friends are just, like, at your school and then, obviously, school's over, so you're like, oh, I'm not seeing these people all day. It's really easy just to not see a friend all summer. So, this summer, try making an active effort of hanging out with the people that you like, hanging out with your friends, and some of you are probably like, duh, Carmen, obviously, I want to hang out with my friends over the summer okay, well, some of us are special. Some of us struggle. Um, By some of us, I mean me. I am some of us. So I'll be trying to make an active effort and hopefully y'all can try that too. And then also, I think it's important to remember is that people's lives are changing literally all the time. So try not to be offended when friendships fade. And I kind of talked about this a few minutes ago, just that change is always going to be constant, whether we like it or not. Um, and people are always going to be changing. So sometimes friendships fade. Sometimes maybe an old friendship that wasn't too great is now a great friendship. Like friendship is always changing. And um, it's it's like really easy just to be offended of being like, oh, like I'm horrible. I suck. No one wants to be friends with me. But no, maybe it's just something going on with that other person's life because I feel like it's really easy to think like when something goes wrong, it's your fault. You did something and you kind of like internalize that and you're like, what did I do wrong? Why aren't we friends? Um, Did I say something? Did I do something? And maybe, yeah, maybe you did do something wrong. We all do stuff wrong sometimes. Um, But maybe it's just the other person has stuff going on or maybe they don't feel like you're as good of friends anymore and that's just a lot to handle emotionally. Maybe that's it. So sometimes it's not even related to you for why friendships fade. Sometimes it is. And when it is, you got to own up to that, right? Um, Because sometimes you're at fault or sometimes it's just two people just aren't very good together and probably shouldn't be friends. And that would be best for everybody. It's one of those like probably like fast friendships where you get really close really fast and then things turn like really toxic really bad um so I don't know you have some friends where you just immediately click and you're like oh my god I'm obsessed with this person in love with them literally um like my sister right and you're like oh my god love you and then there's other people that you're like "Eh, they're fine and it takes like a bit longer to get closer to be better friends but both friendships are valid right? And you shouldn't just knock off one friendship for the other, just thinking, oh, I didn't immediately click with this person on like a like crazy level. We're not going to be friends. Because no, who knows? Maybe this really fast connecting friendship isn't going to be healthy and this other one is going to be great. So you never know. You never know. Um. Also, I think it's another thing is that um, while working on friendship, is important. Another aspect of that is that to be a good friend, you need to be good to yourself and also be able to take time to yourself or like for yourself, right? And be comfortable being able to be alone, being able to just, I don't know, just be by yourself, right? Because there's not always going to be times that you're going to have like a best friend where you're going to have someone who you can go to all the time, Like maybe you have siblings and those people will always be around or obviously your parents, but let's say you're not close with your family and usually you're really close with one person, one friend, but now you're not as close anymore. So what do you do, right? And that's when it's important to also like be good at being by yourself, being able to be like your own person, be your own BFF, right? And I think I have an episode about this. I really don't remember. I'm so bad at that. But I think it was called, like, being your own best friend. Maybe it's from, like, December or something. But I talk more about that. Like, it's important to be a good friend to other people. But it's also important to be a good friend to yourself. And I know that sounds cheesy. It does. 
but you have to be good to yourself to be good to other people. It's like how um people say like you shouldn't go into a relationship if you don't like love yourself, if you aren't comfortable with yourself because how are you going to love someone else if you don't love yourself? Right? So it's kind of like one of those things where you need to um be be able to be alone, be able to do things by yourself. So that you can be a good friend, so that you can be fine and not be like completely destroyed when you don't have a best friend and maybe you're just surrounded by a lot of people and all these people just kind of know you, right? So, T. Also, something that I learned in my um, Women Don't Owe You Pretty book, this was more about like a relationship metaphor, but I mean, friendships are a type of relationship. So I think it applies. Um, But it was talking about how you shouldn't just settle for crumbs like from other people. You deserve like the whole cake. And I feel like this is probably a metaphor that a lot of people know, but I hadn't heard of it. And I was like, oh my God, this woman is a genius. Because I was like, yeah, think about it. Like if you're offered two plates and one of them is like, just a plate with like crumbs or like whatever and the other plate is a whole cake like why would you choose the crumbs when you can have a whole cake even if you would have to wait for the whole cake why settle for the crumbs just because you're scared of being alone and you're scared of not having somebody and she was also saying like you'll settle for crumbs when you're not feeling the best about yourself, when you're in a low place, because crumbs start looking pretty good when you have nothing else. But by settling for crumbs, you're not accepting the full cake. And then you're acting like you don't deserve the full cake when you do. So this is about friends too. Um, There are good friends. There are bad friends. Let's all be honest. We've all had a lot of both. Um, You've probably been both for some people, um, which I think is important to be like aware of that too it's not just like a oh so-and-so is such a bad friend I don't like them and then it's just only their fault it's probably like a you thing too which is okay we all have stuff to work on we can't be friends with everybody um but the point about this is don't settle for like bad toxic friends when you deserve like a good wholesome friend like your full cake okay And yeah, sometimes you have to be with people you don't like, and that's just how life is, okay? You're going to have to be with people you don't like, and you're going to have to hang out with them, and that's just how things are, but that doesn't mean you have to be BFFs with someone. You don't have to go out of your way, Um, but you can go out of your way to try and find the good people, to try and find friends that you really click with, and I think that is an important thing to try for. Also, Relating back to something that I just said about you don't have to be friends with everybody and you don't have to have everyone like you, okay? Because if you're trying to have everybody like you, you're going to end up with nobody liking you because trying to please everyone pleases nobody, right? You've probably heard that one before. Um, So people pleasing, mm -mm. also if you're trying to be friends with someone and you're just doing everything they say and someone's like, oh my god. I love doing blah 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 and you're like oh my god me too someone's like oh my god I love blah 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 and you're like oh my god me too and you're just saying stuff because they like it or just doing stuff because the other person wants to do it one that's boring two give yourself some credit because you're a cool person and you can have your own likes and dislikes and your own interests and just because you're friends with someone doesn't mean you have to be like interested in the same things or like the same things or like the same people right um so I think that is another thing to remember is that you shouldn't try to like change yourself just to be friends with someone because at that point your friendship is just based on a lie and why would you want to be friends with someone if you have to completely change the way you are right because that doesn't make sense so food for thought food for thought another thing is that just because a friend hasn't reached out in a while That doesn't mean that you aren't valued or that they don't value your friendship. It's really easy for people to get like consumed with their own life. Um, I know that's happened to me. I'm sure it's happened to you where it's easy just to kind of be in your own little bubble and not really worrying about anything else. And maybe if you have a friend that lives farther away or goes to a different school, it takes more of an active effort to reach out. And sometimes there's friends 
where you don't talk for months and then you hang out and it's like nothing ever happened. It's like you've been best friends the whole time and those friendships are great. That's always great to have those people and just have a friend that you know you'll be friends with for a long, long time. No matter if you weren't talking every day, if you talk once a month, just catching up, feeling like nothing ever happened. And that's great. So that's what I'm talking about is that there are sometimes friendships or some friendships where you don't need to talk every day. You don't need to hang out all the time. Like there's always on TikTok like random videos that it's like about best friends with someone and how it's like you and your best friend will never have any pictures together or you and your best friend only hang out like once a month, like never seeing each other, but you're still best friends, right? So you don't need to always constantly be with someone to be valued. Just because someone isn't talking to you all the time, 24-7, doesn't mean they don't value you. Maybe they're just more focused on their own life, focusing on what they need to get done. Maybe something really overwhelming is going on. You never know. But it's so important too, not to just wait for someone to reach out. Try reaching out. If you realize, oh my gosh, I haven't talked to my friend who moved to a different state in like two months. Maybe I should check up and text them, call them, see how they're doing. Do that. It's important to reach out so people know like, hey, they're thinking of me. Even if you're not having a long conversation, even if it's just hey, I miss you. How are you doing? We haven't talked in a while. Like that's still nice just so the other person can feel valued. And so you can let them know like, hey, I'm still there. I'm still here. Um, and I want you to know that. So there's, there's the tea. Um, another thing kind of already talked about, but we're just going to drill this point home. Okay. Make yourself go to things. Make yourself socialize for socialization that sounds horrible to me but as a more introverted person it is necessary because it's easy to think if you're someone who doesn't actively go out all the time you're like oh everybody hates me why would I even want to go out but maybe no maybe it's because you never ask people to go out so try to talk to people try to reach out even if that's scary I promise you the more you do it the less scary it'll be and the more comfortable you'll be with of asking people to hang out first instead of just sitting, waiting for someone to say something to you. Because that's not always going to happen. And sometimes you need to take the initiative. Remember, being an active friend. Be an active friend rather than a passive friend. And boom, you're a better friend. Um, also, I think something important to talk about is um, friend breakups. It's a thing, y'all. It's real. Um, and let's just say this. They are more painful than a real breakup. And that's a hot take. Because I feel like if you're friends with someone, you get really close really fast. And it's like, you're like, you know, like this, super close. Um, and then you stop talking and that's kind of hard. Um, but friend breakups are real. But that's okay. Because sometimes people aren't very good for each other. You're not good for everybody. Everyone's not good for you. And sometimes two people really are not good together at all. Both. Maybe this person you're friends with is a great person. Maybe you're a pretty good person. But that doesn't mean that your friendship is going to be great and that everything's going to be like, oh, yay, perfect. No, because that's not realistic. Um, but I also think it's important to remember that sometimes you are at fault. And it's not just the other person's fault. Maybe someone else, you're like, oh my god, this person's so mean. They're so rude. They make me feel bad, so bad about myself. And you're blaming everything on them. And yes, I'm sure people do these things. But that doesn't mean, like, you're completely, um, like, out of the wrong either. Um, because sometimes we are the problem, Okay. And sometimes it's both people thing. Sometimes it's someone else thing. And a lot of the times, too, I think it's important to remember that if a friend is being, like, rude or making you feel bad about yourself, it probably has something more to do with them and the way that they view yourself rather than how they actually see you. And that's another thing to remember is that a lot of the times when people act out, it's not necessarily, like, because they're like, oh, my God. Carmen sucks. Oh my god, I hate her. She's horrible. It's more like, oh, I'm not, like, they're not happy with themselves, right? So not everything is about you. Not everything is about, um, 
you know, where it's like you did something wrong. But at the same time, you're not always in the wrong. So I think it's more about like being aware of uh your actions and what you do and what you say. Because I think it's really easy to say something and think nothing of it and then have like really hurt someone's feelings. I know that I have done this. Sometimes I can be very blunt and not really think about what I say and that hurts people's feelings. Um, Specifically, like, two weeks ago, I had to apologize for someone for something rude that I said. Um, But that's another thing. Communication. It's important. If you did do something wrong and you feel guilty about it, you feel like you are in the wrong, apologize. Communicate. Don't just sit there and be like, oh, they hate me. They don't want to talk to me talk to them okay that's another important thing if you're not talking to anybody how is it going to get better how are things going to improve they're not and then you're going to end up losing a friend and that's not good especially too if this is a friend that you really value and you want to be friends with and someone that you enjoy spending time with don't let your fear of communication your fear of like making yourself vulnerable of like um having to i guess like humble yourself a bit to apologize to explain or to even like explain to someone like oh you said this and that hurt my feelings because blah 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 like i don't think that was very cool of you um i mean you can be like i love you but that still really hurt my feelings and i know we're still friends but i just wanted to let you know so then you're not holding a grudge against someone because that's not very mature and um grudges aren't doing anything it's better just to talk to someone and get through it rather than um just giving someone the cold shoulder not talking to them and not explaining why you're upset because then maybe this person doesn't even know you're upset and they're not thinking anything of it and you're like i'm not going to talk to them i'm not going to respond to any of their texts i'm not going to say hi to them when i see them and they're going to be like oh my god what did i do and then that's just going to cause a bigger issue so if someone says something hurtful if someone does something hurtful let them know communicate let them know how you feel i think i do this the most with my sister um if she says or does something i'll tell her that it hurt my feelings um and most times i don't know if it goes over well but she's not the best of being like apologizing for emotional damage that is caused um but i still think it's important to communicate to tell people how their actions are making you feel even if it's uncomfortable, even if you feel like, oh my god, make it stop, right? It's still important to say, just so someone can know and they're not wondering, like, why hasn't Carmen talked to me? Why are we not speaking? Did I do something? And then you're causing anxiety for the other person when it said you could just create a much smaller issue and be mature about it and just be like, okay, that wasn't cool. Don't do that again. And they're like, okay, great. Or if someone's like, oh my god, what are you talking about? You suck, I hate you, blah, 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 blah. Um, Maybe they're not a good friend, and maybe it's time to get rid of them and be better friends with somebody else, okay? Because you don't deserve that. Remember, you deserve the whole cake, not just the crumbs. You get a whole cake friend, okay? You don't want a crumb friend from me. Ha ha. Puns. I was going to say memes, but that's not what it's called. That was a pun. I think. I don't know. Honestly, I... Whatever. Um, but yeah, that, that's my friend advice. Um, for you and for me, because I think I am always, like, or not always, but, like, recently I've been trying to be a better friend. Um, I don't know how well it's going, but I'm trying, so we'll see. Um, so there's your advice and advice that I'm going to actually try to take myself. Um, but thank you all for listening to this episode. Make sure you leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, whichever platform you listen on. And then also make sure you're following the Girly Girl Podcast at the Girly Girl Podcast on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest you follow me on those you'll see more updates about episodes you'll get to know what episodes are in advance you can dm me um see some cute um posts some funny reels slash tiktoks it's a good time it's a good time so definitely check that out also make sure you check out the link in the description of this episode 
to try Athletic Greens if you're interested in becoming a more healthier version of yourself. I hope you all have an amazing week. Try to make an active effort to focus on your friendships. Become an active friend. We're trying to get our life together. This is our era. Um, I believe in you. And I will be trying my best as well. Love ya. Bye.